the media is still consumed with Charlottesville. Investors are not. The timing of the president's statements are not an issue. No, it is North Korea and their backing down that's giving stock prices something of a boost today. In short, Kim Jong-un has backed down. Two days ago, he threatened to fire missiles at Guam. That is a U.S. territory. Defense Secretary Mathis said very clearly, don't do it. Fire off those missiles and your regime is done. President Trump's policy is clear. Tell them you can take them. Convince them you will do it. It worked. The NOCOs blinked. In the long history of threats and escalation and endless retreats by American presidents, North Korea has never backed down until now. And they have backed down. And they did it on August the 15th, today. That's a special day in Korea. Both North and South celebrate this day when in 1945 they were liberated from a brutal Japanese occupation. It's often the day when the North rattles its rockets, but not this time. This is a Trump win. It may not last, but as now, as of now, Donald J. Trump has become the first president to successfully face down the lunatic with a nuke. And that is a very good thing.